Next step is of course labeling the devices. Labeling devices is something very easy. You can actually use the labeling within ePlan if you're using simple labels like these labels here, which is basically just the Brady form that I can print directly. I have another tool that is quite interesting here. It's called the Clip Project Marking. This is actually the most interesting tool available out there. So you can pick which label you want, device tag, terminals, wires, and you just simply export them into marking and automatically the uh, marking will pick the different labels that have been preset so it's a matter of configuring the marking it takes about 20 minutes maybe maximum to an hour to configure these we have these configurations that actually are hidden in here right so you can easily Define for a specific, let's say, electric P8 here, the EC dock. You can see here, you know, what file you want to use and what material mapping you want to force uh, this uh, configuration uh, to use and how the uh, item, the column number one, should appear. So this is easy to configure and this will automatically generate the right number of labels according to what you have picked. Now, some of these labels, you may want to change the rotation. You can easily prepare this in a, ahead of time, make them a little bit smarter, smaller, that's up to you. It even comes up here with some error messages, but I'll invite you to uh, contact your Phoenix contact people. They will be able to tell you exactly how this works. So very interesting because it goes very quickly, generates all the labels you want in one fashion. Now, if you're not using the Phoenix contact, you can still export these labels one by one. This is actually how I configured those ones in the first place. I go in here, terminal marking, let's take a look. What is it? It's a file, generate the file, the labeling, what is out on the label, and here the settings. And once this is actually generated, I can export this and use it. Now, uh, depending on the file type or file name that you're going to be using, let's say here, I'll make a different one and I'll make it a text file. A text file, so you can just see it. I'm going to change this here for the extension text and there we go. So this generates the file itself. These are all my terminals, all my labels, terminal strips, everything is there. Now even better than this, I can use the automated processing. Automated processing works as this. You pick which label you want. I want the device tags. I want the... Uh, whoop, this one here is the uh, marking text, and the next one here is the wire tag source. So you just configured in one single step, one, two, three. I just generated one, two, and three files, one, two, three, automatically. You just have to feed now your labeler, whichever labeler you're using. So when it comes to labeling, ePlan is really the master of generating these labelers labels automatically. Don't waste any time anymore on that.